while stress levels, they are high for so many of us, affecting our sleep, focus, physical and mental health, and more. Now, stress also makes people more vulnerable to developing an addiction or having a relapse, but there is help. We have therapist Samantha Vins from Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services. She's here to talk about the link between stress and addiction and how we can all better manage our stress. Sam, thanks for being with oh, us. Thank you. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about, you know, the studies right now, people are more stressed out than ever, and you guys know that better, probably better than anyone. Right. Yeah, so, so tell us about kind of what, what causes stress in people's lives and, and how, what are healthier ways to cope with stress? Right, well, us as humans, unfortunately, human nature, we all get stressed. And, you know, although we can't eliminate it, we can manage it. Um, so it's all about managing it and healthy coping mechanisms, um, such as exercise and peer support um, and just all the therapies that we have yeah. at our retreat center. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, I, I like you say therapy, peer support, things like that, because we were talking off camera and you said, you know, we're all in this together. Right. We are stronger together. Right. Talk a little mo more about that and that people shouldn't feel like they're suffering alone. Right. Absolutely. Um, I always say, you know, when you're having a baby, it takes a village. <laughs> but I think even into adulthood, it takes a village as well. You know, we're not, we're humans. We're not meant to do life alone. We're meant to be there for each other and support each other. And that's exactly what we're here for um, at Pine Rest and at our retreat clinic. We don't want you to go through it alone and we'll be there with you every step of the way through every level of care. Absolutely, and so if someone is feeling stressed out and maybe turning to alcohol or drugs, right. relapsing, things like that, uh, what are some of the, maybe the warning signs and, and then what do they need to do? Right, well, you know, a lot of times we grow up and we haven't learned how to cope in a healthy way. Our, maybe we didn't learn it from our parents or the environment that we were in, um, or we just get overwhelmed and impulsive and don't know what to do, especially the pandemic. You know, like I said, we're not meant to be alone. So we want to numb them. We want to not feel that. We want to feel the good things. But of course, it's only temporary when you turn to a substance. Um, so we're there to teach you how to do it in a healthy way um, and how to maybe change that perspective and that way of thinking. Um, to help better manage your life. And, you know, I think there's a big stigma though with this. And, and, and right. what do you want people to know about coming forward, about asking for help, about going to someone that they care about or about coming to Pine Rest, something like right. that? Yeah, absolutely ask for help. You will, at our facilities too, um, not just my own perspective, but from all the reviews and people that we've seen over and over again, they never feel judged. They feel understood. They feel safe. They feel supported. And that is our main goal. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit more about why you do what you do. I mean, this is what you do every single day. And right. you want to go out and help people. And, and tell me right. about the why for you. The why is just, I don't know. I think it's part of who I am. I think for my coworkers as well, it's kind of just in our hearts and in our passion. Um, maybe in our past, someone has helped us. And we want to be able to help them too. Um, it's just that togetherness and just... Choose kindness, I, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So tell us about some of the different programs that people um, can, can explore and look into um, at your facility. Right, we have all levels of care from, you know, our detox program, residential, a partial program, and then um, to get out of that inpatient, once you've moved on to the outpatient, we have the intensive outpatient services, um, early recovery group, relapse prevention, and individual therapy along the way as well. So what what should somebody think about before when they need to reach out to you? What are, what are some things that should would be happening in their lives for them to be like, okay, this is time for me to call Pine Rust? Right. Just when you feel it unmanageable, if you feel find yourself getting you know really irritable or sleeping all the time, um, very angry, um, calling in sick to work, um, just that negative effect on your life. You find yourself being more negative than positive. You know, we don't want to live life like that. We want to be happy. We want to be positive. So, you know, let us help you get there. Absolutely. And tell me about some of the success stories, too. You know, you, you, somebody comes in and they are at, at their worst. Right. Um, and, and how are they leaving? Right. That is the greatest success and happiness and just fulfills us so much to see that. Um, and that's where it is nice to be there every step of the way because we can see that from their worst, from detox to residential to the groups, to each level group, individual therapy. There's some people that have been with us for years and it feels like home. Yeah, so you will be there with them every step, yeah. holding their hands. Right. Love that. All right, yeah. so if someone wants more information, if someone feels that they need help, what do they need to do? 
either call or come okay over to our pine rest retreat clinic um, we have our website pinerest.org and there's information on the screen for yeah there as well. you go yeah there's a QR code even there yeah. as well so you can just scan that with your phone right now but as always right you can head to the website you can give them a call um, Sam thank you so much for being with us oh, we really thank appreciate, you. I appreciate it appreciate it yeah All right.